Hi, my name is Dong and I'm an animator. Join me today as we figure out how to use the Kumi or Match Line. When you are animating, you will often run into the issue of a character's cell layer, for example, being both over and underneath a BG layer or another animation cell layer at the same time, and layering one over the other just wouldn't work. If we go back to the prehistoric analog days of animation, you will see that the cells are painted cut out when it needs to be over or under another element of the scene. But in the modern age of digital compositing, we do it slightly different, by drawing the Kumi line. Ok, let's draw out our scene, we'll keep it simple. For this scene, I'll have my character sitting on a railing. I'll be drawing in Clip Studio Paint, but feel free to use whatever software you are familiar with. A feature of Clip Studio Paint that I really like is its 3D layer and perspective ruler tool, which lets you build your scene layout quickly. Let's get those railings drawn in. I think it's a good idea to move the railings out of the BG layer and make it into a cell layer. Let's finish this up and label it A1. Then let's add our character to this scene. She will be on the B cell layer and we'll draw her sitting down. Make sure to draw through the drawing, even through the areas where the character intersects with the railing. Finishing up, let's label her B1 and keep her a held cell for simplicity. Going back to the layout layer, let's add some clouds to round out the scene. Some big ones to give the layout a sense of scale and grandiosity. Finally, giving the BG and the character some shading is a good touch. Alright, with our scene setup, we need to figure out how to get the A cell with the railing and the B cell with our character to fit together. On the B cell with our character, using a red line, I trace over the A cell railing, making sure to indicate areas where the A cell is below our character and where it is on top. So here the railing will be over our character's buttocks but below her thighs, and above her hand but below her thumb. This will be our Kumi or match line, and let's give it a slight shade to make it clear and label it A1 to Kumi or A1 match line. Alright, let's finish it up. Here's what our timesheet looks like. There's a quick note in there to tell the compositor that there is a Kumi line on the B cell. So here is what our layers will look like when exported. And during compositing, the compositor will create the proper masks and get that Kumi line working. Let's try something slightly different. Here I have our character walk up a bunch of steps. The use of a Kumi line is necessary to get those feet resting on those steps. Ok, let's get our scene drawn. Starting with the layout. Let's get those steps in there. We'll have it be overgrown with vegetation. It really adds character. Finally, let's round it out with some big clouds in the background. We can draw our character in the A cell layer and let's draw this quick and rough. Keep those lines loose. Music 
After that, we need a couple more key drawings to get our character walking. We have a couple keys drawn, but to get the animation to work better, we should add some animation in between reference drawings to fill in the space and movement. Those are marked with a triangle. Let's draw one between each of our three keys. Once that is done, let's renumber our drawing and space them out properly. Eight frames between each drawing should work well. A final drawing at the end could be added to keep the characters moving until the end of the scene, especially since her hair is blowing throughout the scene. To finish up, let's add some shading to our characters and layout. It is generally a good idea to separate the BG into overlay and underlay elements. So let's color the foreground in and label it as a book, the Japanese word for overlay. Then heading back to our animation layer, we need to create a kumi line for the top of the steps where the feet rest on them. So go through each drawing, lower the opacity to have the BG easier to see, and then trace a red line for where the feet needs to be hidden behind the BG book layer. Give it a label, book to kumi, or something like match line with overlay if you are working in the west. Repeat this for the rest of the drawings. By drawing the kumi line, we tell the compositor to mask parts of the animation self beneath the BG layer, and it also tells the BG painter to make sure that they protect the integrity of the BG elements wherever there is a kumi line. If you do not do this, you may find that the steps might be slightly shifted in position during the BG painting process, and you're going to have a floating character. For instances where you don't really need to cut and mask the animation cell layer in any way, but still need to request the BG painter to be on point about the position of the BG elements of the layout, we use what is called in the Japanese industry a Jun Kumi line. Remember that unless you specify, the BG painter has carte blanche to change your layout in the BG painting process. Let's get our scene drawn in first. It will be simple. Just our character sitting down on a patio ledge. We rough out the position of our character, and then let's work on the layout. Clip Studio Paint's Perspective Ruler tool once again comes in handy. And now to finish up our animation cell layer, which consists of our character on the A cell, and this will be a held frame. So what we want with the scene is to make sure that the BG painter keeps the position of the area with the patio part of the layout exactly as it is drawn in the layout. This is because the character interacts with it by sitting on it. The BG painter will tend to move things around otherwise, and you might have the character sitting on an empty space in the worst case scenario. Lowering the opacity of our character layer temporarily, we can go into the layout folder and create a new layer, and trace the outline of the patio area there. 
Here, this line indicates the part of the layout where we need the BG to match exactly. Give it a label, Jun Kumi, and we can call it done. If you are working professionally, remember to export the Jun Kumi line separately. All right, here's the timesheet if you're interested. And that's it for today. I hope you learned something and thanks to everyone who is supporting the channel on Patreon. If you would like to help support the channel, links are down below. Patrons get some unique content to them every month, including unreleased videos and other things from my past work. Other than that, check out my social media, Twitter for my day to day and Instagram if you just want to see my art. Have a great day. Thank you.